Hello and welcome to another scene for the living world of darkness. Rage across New York, the werewolf venue. Today's scene takes place at the Sept of the Green where Bailey Thrash Candine is currently putting up yet another poster asking if anybody would be interested in lending her assistance on an upcoming mission because she finds it works best to seek out volunteers instead of saying like, hey, come do this thing. And so there she is, handwritten note in hand, thumbtack poised to uh, place it on the uh, info board. Pick <clears throat> up. Uh, being in a, in a very far from his normal state over the past few weeks due to the uh, death of his cousin, which at this point has made its way, uh, news has made its way around most of the sept. Mm -hmm. um, was in a very somber mood. Uh, Still about his duties, but obviously not as uh, as energetic or jovial, or even as straight with people than uh, than he was before. But uh, he does uh, he does uh, every day or so uh, take some time to check up on any new info on the Guardian board, former Wormfo board, and that is that is where he'll be heading to uh, get an update considering the uh, coming, well, coming invasion. Bailey will post her sign, turn and see Jacob and uh, bear her stomach. Jacob Raya? Oh, hey, Bailey. Uh, getting like no confirmation from him about like her presenting her submission. She like lowers her shirt. Um, I'm, I'm real sorry to hear about uh, real sorry to hear about Robin. She was she was good good people. I liked Betty. Yeah, so do I. So, uh, what you, uh, what you doing out there doing guardian duties? Uh, trying to get together a team for this uh, upcoming recon mission that I've got going on. My, my own pack is a little diminutive, so I need... I need others to help me. I'm trying to get a timeline going on when we're going to hit this Attica facility, but nothing seems to be coming together. I can't believe people are, um, are dragging their ass on this considering what they did to us. If you uh, if you need one second, you need somebody to go with you though. Um, as long as it's not at the same time as my recon mission, I'll I'll be there. Thanks. Appreciate that. When are we gonna? Chuck in some of those new allies to help you out. Well, um, I imagine that the water will talk to whoever is uh, the uh, fairy connection to let us know that we need somebody. But barring that, I suppose I could speak to the one or two I've met. See if they're uh, part of this whole thing. Did 
To be honest, I'm not entirely sure what we're gaining from this alliance. I know but... a lot of Garu have had ties to Fey before. If I recall, my former Alpha was in a relationship with one of them. Before she left. And he left. Hmm. I, uh, I think Cammy's emotionally tied up with one, which makes me... And she she's about to say something, and she just shakes her head. Nah, it's neither here nor there. Probably worrying about issues that aren't even issues. Do you know if we work well together? I've never worked with one. I've talked with some of them, but it's always been, well, it was a casual relationship at best. Mm -hmm. No, we didn't, uh, and I never really had any real ties to the, to the Fae. I just, I've just spoken to them in the past and not come to blows with them, which seems as, which seems as close to a, a positive as, as our kind can get with those not of our kind, to be honest. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if we work well together. I don't know what their abilities are. Were you there? Come back. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, people.
soon. Oh, good. And it's still live. Sorry about that. My uh, internet temporarily crapped out. So what were you saying? <laughs> um, uh, Jacob just says, I, I don't really know. Uh, I've, I've only, I've only ever had a casual passing relationship with the Fae. It's just talking to them. Never really, I don't know their abilities or anything. I I know some of our kind of had connections to them in the past, but I don't really know why. I don't, I don't know what their own purpose is or why they're even agreeing to this. I'm not even sure how they can help. They don't seem to hit as hard as us or move as fast. Yeah, I, I've admittedly, I've seen very limited abilities that would seem particularly beneficial on the battlefield unless the Banes are uh, particularly uh, like upset over broken vases or something. So yeah, I was planning on doing some really heavy vetting with this, with this mission because I don't want us losing our own because we're sitting there babysitting some uh, fancy pants Faye, you know? Guess we'll see how they do. Yeah. Because there's more than... There's more than one way to do good. Don't just have to hit stuff, I suppose. Yeah, but being able to help, you know, hit stuff. Well, probably it for me to be a kettle called in the pot black or nothing, but I've seen a lot of talking and a desire to chat with like absolutely anything and ask incessant amounts of questions. We really don't need them trying to chat up Banes, you know? It's not promising that they don't seem to understand what they're fighting. Ugh. Yeah. I suppose they should begin learning very quickly. If not, then they'll find out. I think... Uh... I think uh, Shira Raya and uh, I think she went to, and, and spoke to the leader. At least that's kind of what I understood yesterday. Mm. I don't know what they expect of us in return. 
That's not good. Yeah. That's I I'll need to clarify that. I won't have a deal made for the set that we don't even know what we're paying for in return. They do seem to really like promises. Or at least the one I know. Then we'll need to get that clarified. Was it Sasha that proposed this, or did the Fae come to us? I'm not quite sure, Raya. I just know that she spoke with uh, that she just spoke with them, and I know that one of theirs has been in contact with somebody calling himself Mister Monday. I don't know who goes by that Monica. But I can stop poking around the people I know and asking questions if 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 uh, clarification is needed pronto. Oh, it's okay. I'll just ask myself. Well, if it's not too much trouble or uh, out of place to ask, if you could pass the word on to me, I'd like to know as well. Yeah. Congratulations on the new alpha position, by the way. I saw that I had changed. Uh, yeah, due to some uh, mitigating circumstances, but yeah. Mitigating? Mm. Some circumstances I wish wouldn't have come about, I suppose. I was fine being a beta. I mean, shit, that's... It's kind of a step above where most bone knots end up in a friggin' mixed pack anyways, you know? Hmm. Especially one of the ragabash variety. We tend to be the uh, the old kick-arounds. Uh, not on this set. Well, <laughs> just because of the territory doesn't mean that uh, we get all high and mighty on ourselves necessarily. Yeah. I don't, I don't I don't see you getting high and mighty anytime soon. Certainly not. <laughs> uh, Jacob looks around. It's just um, uh, we'll, we'll say as a bench or a chair or a table or something where they can sit. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to have a sit down. Want to take a seat? Oh, thank you, Raya. And she'll have a seat as well. Is there something on your mind? There's a lot on my mind, but... I know this invasion is coming. I trusted Robin with my life. I don't think... I don't think she'd lie to me, and I don't think her visions have ever been off. Did she tell you anything about the numbers? No, but... We know there's a lot of them. I don't know if the full force is coming or if it's just a portion of it. But I know they're on their way. Robin gave me that information specifically because what happened might have happened and it did. I saw what they did to the Sept of the Water Garden. It's, it's hard to uh, keep up hope when you see that sort of thing. I 
when this all gets confirmed, and it will be, that strike force is on its way. The water's going to be up to his neck. In coordinating a response. We're like cats. Hurting us is a pain in the ass. And he's yeah, busy Philip. dealing with... Oh, pardon? I was going to say, yeah, Philodox, right? We're not supposed to be questioning our leaders during this time. There will be idiots that do so anyway. But the water will be busy coordinating a macro level response. He's going to need someone on the ground enforcing those orders, making sure that's what he wants done is getting done. Making sure everybody is doing what they need to be doing. He's going to need a worm for, and I'd like you to be that worm for. Just gives him like a long stare. Isn't that uh, typically an Arun thing or a. I don't know, somebody being groomed for bigger and better things. Not to say no, but are we talking like permanent or just like to take care of things as uh, things need doing at the time? The old one, though, was a Fianna Ragabash, who was also an incompetent, intolerant piece of shit. Oh, well, at least I've got uh, something to aspire to. <laughs> Jesus. I look at all the alphas and I see you're the only one besides myself doing anything noteworthy. When there's been a mission on the table, you're the one that's been around to do it almost every time. You've always done what you needed to do. And you've had a few missions of your own where you've We've led people through the other side and got them through it. Sish is an agent, but I don't think... I don't think she's got the qualities or the skill set necessary for the role. But you do. Thank you for your faith in me, Raya. I mean, it's something you really don't want to do. You don't have to do it. I mean, fuck, if no one's around, I'll just be the one for and the master of challenges. It's not like I'm doing any challenging anyway. If anybody's got any issues they need dealing with, they're certainly not coming to me with it. My issues were dealt with in-house. I try not to uh, pest outside influences unless it's something that absolutely cannot be handled. But yeah, well, if it's a challenge or some litany bullshit, come to me or the truth catcher. Absolutely. But yeah, if it's just something you want to deal with in house and you know, it's not like an issue for any of us, then yeah, sure, go ham. But I'd rather not take on that role because I'm already busy. I'm 
and I'm not in the right state of mind for it. I understand. And, um... Uh, who, do I, who do I talk to about taking on this responsibility? Well, it's not within my control. I mean, my support would lend weight, but it's not definitive. This is something traditionally decided on by the warder or anyone above him, such as the Alphas, the Elder Council. I don't think your Elder cares for me too much. <laughs> she says, kind of uh, absentmindedly stroking her cheek. Yeah, but I think if a warder wanted you on board, he wouldn't get in his way. And if not, my support, I think, would draw him off. I already talked about that with him. If you think that I am uh, I'm capable of completing this this responsibility to a satisfactory level, then I'll step up. Fucking Christ, we really are going to die if you're being f so formal with me. <laughs> you just lost your cousin. <laughs> I don't want to be uh, the usual ragabash jackass to you. <laughs> I said. prefer it, to be honest. All right. This step's going to be in a lot of fucking trouble with the ragabash taking on so much authority. It's bad enough that one of us is an alpha. It uh, certainly says something for our lack of organization when one of us is going is being encouraged to step up as one foe. <laughs> it's not going to be easy, particularly as a false then. Some people are going to step on your toes. But I'll back you up on that. I think the old one foe might have been a Fostern at the time as well. Another person who came before him was an Arun, Adrian, and one of my closest friends before he became the Alpha of his own sept. Yeah. She, she not I'm not used to people having this much faith in a <laughs> in uh well my pack <laughs> or my uh auspice so I have faith in you never said anything about your auspice or pack not that I dislike your 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 pack oh your pack to be honest. I mean we have a pretty good thing going. I'm you know I liked you guys enough to buy you a fucking junkyard. Well thank you. Um Oh see I had no idea about the junkyard. Huh. <laughs> That's really interesting. <laughs> if Mimi were here, Jacob would have words. <laughs> He, I literally spent a resource action buying you guys fucking shit. <laughs> Jacob assumed it was going to be a fucking chop shop, which is, which is why he wanted it to be outside of his jurisdiction. <laughs> um, but yeah, he'll, uh, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll talk to the SCs about that. Um, <laughs> that would be, that would be something Bailey would be very interested in, considering she works primarily with scrap materials. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, uh, I mean, I know Cammy may have helped me with that police inspection. I'm not sure if it ever went through, to be honest. But I know she said she was going to do it, so I'll take her at her word. And obviously you've helped me several times on missions already. 
and I mean, you've done your duty to the spirit and the ladder. Can't ask for any more. Well, I mean, you could ask for more, but you'd be uh, coming up pretty disappointed, I'm sure. <laughs> Shit. We might need more considering this invasion. In a way, I feel like I'm almost doing you a disservice, putting you through such a trial by fire. The whole world, world's burning. <laughs> trial by fire seems to be the default. In any case, we need someone, and you're it. Much less nice way of putting it than before, I guess. <laughs> nah, it's it's certainly a uh, putting it as a sort of we ain't got someone better. <laughs> I can understand that. Putting me on any sort of pedestal, where it's like I think you're the best person for this job. That that's a little more concerning. <laughs> well. Actually, I don't know which one's more concerning. They're both very concerning statements, if I'm uh, being brutally honest. But one I'm easy at coping with. If I just needed someone out of Pixisha, she's an Adrian. She is the authority. If I just needed anybody, it would probably have been her. But I need someone I fully trust to succeed because we need to I will do my best to uh, to work the forces of fate in our favor then when this when this all gets confirmed I'm going to bring the matter to the Alpha Council I mean, you can see from our prior conversation that we tried to and to lie and inform people of something I thought the Sept was already aware about, to be honest. I thought people already knew there was going to be a war. I didn't know Robin was the only one that knew. I figured something was going to happen uh, when we uh, when we responded to the attack at the Sept to the water garden. Water called me and Camille up to uh, to a high vantage point to kind of look over Riot. They were darkening the landscape. The reason I haven't just outright left about uh, these rather pretty individuals lending themselves to this effort is because we're probably going to need the extra bodies. The question just is, are we putting those extra bodies as a human shield or as uh, the last line of defense if we should fall? Our war has never been a numbers game. There's well, always been less of us than our opponents. The addition of a Fae won't change that. She does sort of a head, sort of not in committal head wobble because for bone hours it kind of is a numbers game. <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, they're surviving. <laughs> <laughs> they hide in the cracks. Num numbers help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's. I think it would be fair to say if there's one thing every Gara has in common is that they succeed in spite of their circumstances, not because of them. Like, even even those from my tribe, a lot of people think we're born of a silver spoon in our mouths. The vast majority of us aren't. Most of us are not rich. Most of us don't have that comfort because we're never going to have it once we change. We're all coming to this war at a disadvantage. Every single one of us. But we push forward anyway. 
Nagata. It's never a question of whether if we'll succeed. It's a question of how. That'd probably be my only advice to you when you're being one player. Don't question if you'll succeed. Acknowledge that you can fail. And if, if, if you fail, fuck it. Just keep moving forward. Because that's the only way we're going to win. I'll consider this advice. If we fail, fuck it. <laughs> this is one of those times where we can't. That's why I'm requesting you. Like, don't misunderstand me. There are times where we all we all fail, we all fall down. But there are times where we can't afford to do that. And that's this time. There might be fuck ups along the way. There might be mistakes or trip ups. But as so long as we push through this, that's what's important. Because I know we can. And I know you can lead us through that. Oof. <laughs> Well, um, I guess the next step is to uh, talk to the water, hmm. which is uh, it's going to be a real weird day. <laughs> Motherfuckers are so jealous about leadership, huh? Um, so when they actually fucking get it. <laughs> I mean, it's supposed to be a responsibility, <laughs> um, not like a privilege. I'm uh, I'm a little weary of anybody who's like, I want to be a leader because I'm going to feel important. Good, you get it. That's why I'm putting you in charge. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Old Wormfo didn't fucking get it. Swung his dick around like he was, a fuck he was the fucking cock of the walk. You get it. Well, any dick I'd have is detachable, Raya. <laughs> so. Fair. But yeah. If someone was looking for a fucking power trip, if I even suspected that, they wouldn't be one vote ever. I'd do whatever I could to block them out. Don't need, don't need more shit heels running the nation. We had enough atrocities in our history, don't need to cause more. She uh, gives a nod. Yeah, no more. Uh, it, I mean, if you, you're trying to keep people who uh, at least aren't uh, immediately prone to uh, flipping out over stuff, I suppose Ragabash is a good way to go. The R room was best with people than the Ragabash was. Oh no. That guy had friends in his pack and nobody else. Seems Who's like that a real one asshole asking for exceptions to the King Folks, right, Bill? Oh no. I mean I indulged him because real politic. Mm -hmm. But if they had their way, one wouldn't exist.
But you got it. You get it. You good at your job. And it's not particularly easy to earn my faithful trust. Sisha's an Adrian. She still doesn't have it. I like her. But I wouldn't say I put my faith in her. I wouldn't say I trust her. Cami and your pack. Again, we have a good thing going. But faith and trust is a slow thing to build up. Again, Cammy's nice. I think she's a good person for the most part. She's helped me several times. But there have been times when she hasn't been around when I kind of needed her. But you've always been around. And you've always gotten the job done. And whenever I asked for help, you would have to help. And I don't forget shit like that. Well, everybody should do the thing that they're good at. And uh, if what's needed done is what I'm good at, then I'll step up. Thank you for your faith in me, Raya. And uh, I'll try my best not to fuck it all up. You won't. I can't see the future, but I can predict that. And you don't have to call me Rai. You can just call me Jacob. Thank you, Jacob. And, uh, I don't know, you can call me whatever. Bailey, thrash can. Not that it was ever in any question as far as a rank is concerned, but... I always like Bailey. Yeah, thrash can's a little formal. The worst part is that that is true. <laughs> yeah, all right. I'd be interested in hearing how you got that name someday. It's a uh... yeah, it's a it's a story. Eh? Ain't no Galliad, but uh, <laughs> it's it's an interesting story. Maybe maybe when I'm sure you've only had a light lunch. <laughs> And get many of those nowadays. Eaten from the ever meal? What? Keeping uh. me around every hour of the day. I think the worms caught on to me and they sent someone in to try and hold me down there. Mm. But they're only partially successful. It means I'm hurting them. It means they're worried. The fact that it was enough to draw their attention means that they're either very professional, which frankly, they fucking aren't, most of them. Or, or my position there is enough to be a concern for them. And I think it's the latter. I've done some things to hurt them pretty badly in the past. Some of it was before your time, some of it after, well, now. I more or less kicked full force out of the city. Some of them are back now, though. Guess it's time to kick them again. Largely already did it. It was where Robin, you know. Hmm. People are dragging their ass when it comes to the Sedeca thing. Um... Let me know and I'll I'll apply a size seven to the posteriors and get them in gear. I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. You do that mission, you come back alive. Then I'll uh, 
Then I'll play Politics of the Water. Good. I... It'll probably be better if it comes from somebody, you know, the politics anyways, comes from somebody other than me. <laughs> not saying I'm not up to the task, just saying, you know, I like the teeth I have where they are. <laughs> In politics, it's always easier to get from one place to another when someone vouches for you. It shows you have some measure of support. If you're saying something for yourself, there's a good chance you're alone. But like for someone else to put their neck out for another in politics means that Either they really trust that person, or there's a lot of blackmail there. And uh, as far as I know, I'm the only one on this set that had files on anybody. If you have a file on me, um, I imagine it would be a fairly uh, short one. <laughs> yeah, William and uh, Felix pulled me out of it. I burned them all before you got here. Well, that's good. I've never been a big fan of uh, that arc of the Justice League anyways. Oh no, pop culture reference. <laughs> How fortunate for you that the nation is not the Justice League. Talk about it. I wouldn't even be one of those auxiliary characters. I'd be one of those people with, like, one of those really stupid uh, superpowers. Like, what was that guy? Condiment Man with uh, the ketchup and mustard? Who all would uh, wonder what the fuck I was doing in their mighty noble book. <laughs> with all the might of the nation and such. I always I don't know I can envision you as a major superhero I can see you being plastic man <laughs> oh sure <laughs> Is the uh, the real stretchy one, right? Yeah. Um. Hmm. I guess it's better than like Swamp Thing or something. Hmm. Well. I'm sure those big stretchy arms will come in handy. Wrap them around everybody, gather them for a mission. Um, hopefully I can be on those. Yeah, that's it. Don't want to keep you from your duties too long. Yeah. Well, Thanks for the conversation, and um, again, my condolences. If there's anything I can do to... I don't even know what can be done to help, but... Uh, look, I lost my ma when I was like 16. Eventually, eventually you'll feel okay. I hope so. If you find yourself feeling too down, uh, come find me.
I will. Thanks, Bailey. No problem, Jacob. And uh, she'll give like a friendly wave and then go on and post up a, another uh, poster, you know, somewhere else on in the sept. But uh, yeah, this is where we'll end our scene. Thank you players for playing. Thank you watchers for watching and we'll see you next time.